Good morning, it's a Saturday morning. I'm snuggled up here in my pajamas on my sofa. I have a cup of tea. I'm not long up, actually. It's nearly 10 o'clock, so it's not early, but I've got a late gig tonight. So I slept for as long as I could to tank up on sleep. I am actually expecting a knock on my front door at any moment. Uh, the other day I was out in the garden and I noticed a chunk of masonry had come off the next door's house wall so I went and had a chat with the tenant then so she's let her landlady know so she's going to come and have a look at that this morning. Well next door's landlady's just been and she wasn't quite what I expected. I was just in my pajamas you know having that Saturday morning relaxed feeling and just thought oh well you know, it's only the landlady, she won't mind some pyjamas and uh, anyway she was called Imogen, which is my name as Imo is short for Imogen you see turns out she plays the violin, she works as a musician <laughs> and uh, yeah, so she came and had a look at her wall I won't show you because it's her wall, there's a big lump falling off it she had a little look at her roof from my upstairs window and had a little look at the tile, condition of the tiles because they're a little bit, I don't know I think they might need some work at some point point. and the drain's all silted up up there what a coincidence. Izzy seems to have taken it upon herself to make some pancakes this morning. Because you don't really have much breakfast food and toast didn't really sound appealing today. Oh, okay. The first pancake has actually come out all right. Actually? Well, the first one's usually a bit of a write-off in my experience with pancakes. That is true, I love that. These are actually soya milk pancakes that Izzy's making. Just out of Tesco's own. Soy milk. We ran out of moo milk. It went a bit sour, didn't it? Yeah. And I, I tried a little bit of them and they're actually better than dairy milk, mm. in my opinion. It's half past twelve now. I'm all showered and dressed to look to like my new £2.50 top <laughs> that I got the other day when Izzy was at college. Very nice, that'll do. Right, I look a lot better now, don't I? I don't look like the wreck of the Hesperus anymore. Always good. I'm going to make a quick coffee and I am going to practice the tricky bits from tonight's set, but I'm not going to film it because I'm going to end up with too much footage if I do that because I know I've got a long day ahead. I'm off to practice now. Bye! Well, I've done quite a lot of practice and then I had the texts started coming in, shunting the time around a bit for today. So we're now leaving earlier than we were. We were leaving much earlier than we were. Then we were leaving slightly less earlier than we were. And now we're sort of in the middle of, <laughs> oh, it's just, it just keeps on changing. You see, the reason is there is holiday traffic and we obviously need to get in in good time to the gig and set the PA up, so we can't be uh, we can't be risking it. If there's a risk of delays, we've got to allow for that, so that's what we're doing. But right now, I'm going to quickly cook Isabel a bit of lunch. She wants tuna pasta, again, but I'm not going to complain because that's quick and easy. And uh, then we're going to get the train down to my dad's, because Izzy's going to go and stay with my dad tonight. We've had lunch, very quickly cooked and eaten, and I have not managed to do the washing up, but there's one good thing about washing up, and that's it always waits for you for when you get back. So I'll have to do it tomorrow evening. So we're on the train. Let's see something, some fizzy water. Portuguese o'clock now. You know me, any opportunity. dropped Izzy off at my dad's and I'm back on the train now. We're heading off to Cardiff Central where I'm going to change and get the connection to Newport and that's where Dan and the invisible boyfriend are going to meet me with the car. Just missed one, but it's okay, I've still got plenty of time. Plenty of room on this one. These ones have got power points under the table, look very handy. And off we go.
I love freight trains. I don't know why. I just think they're exciting. Probably not if you're a freight train driver. Well, it's lovely and quiet on the air today. After all that rushing and rescheduling, I think I'm actually going to be hanging around for 10 minutes before the guys get to me. I think this is a slightly earlier train than I meant to get. Just time for a quick little Portuguese on the train. I've got 10 minutes or so. People are definitely going to think I'm a train spotter hanging around train platforms filming trains leaving and arriving. But they do look so lovely. You see the heat shimmers. Well, I'm quarter of an hour early. I'm going to go and hang out over there, which is where I'm going to get picked up. I'm quite looking forward to the gig tonight because I had a chance to practice, it makes all the difference. I feel um, kind of prepared-ish. <laughs> Here we are, I made it round. Just gotta wait for a quarter of an hour now. I'm starting to get a bit peckish. It doesn't feel like it, but it's getting on for four hours since we had our tuna pasta lunch. Luckily, I popped to a shop with Izzy on the way to Grandad's. Oh, it doesn't look very appetising at the moment, it's slopped over. Look, raided the reduced to clear section. Pasta and tomato salad. Veggie sushi, which I've never had, so I'm looking forward to trying that. And uh, oh, some fish sushi. Upside down fish sushi. And I've just brought those from the house. Twiglet crisps, chocolate biscuit. Keep me going, see? Not getting in till 3am. They do do food where we're gigging, actually. We might end up having something there, I don't know. We'll see how the evening goes. It always reminds me of going to Lorion standing here because when I was going to Lorion in France last summer I waited here to be picked up that day too. And guess what? Me and IB are going again this year. But we're not gigging. We're just going as, you know, normal civilian humans this year. There's a travel lodge there, look, right by the station. Oh, there's IB just come in with Dan. <laughs> I've never stayed in that travel lodge. I don't know what it's like. Hello boys! Oh, oh. oh sorry, they self-close. <laughs> I'll crop him out. Usually on your shoulder, back of your shoulder blades. Oh, excellent! Thank you. There's also a, a Yorkie with yeah. biscuits and raisins in it. Excellent. I might have a crisp actually. Just the one? Oh uh, yeah, I'll open the bag and give you one now. <laughs> Ages now, and that looks like quite a nice view ahead. Do you want me to film it up front? I'm managing just fine, thank you on my zoom. Here we are, arriving at last, and the weather's on the turn. Super, super, super early because the traffic was fine. Cup of tea. There's a band on before us, they're going to do a whole set. That is how early we are. We're going to have a little bit of a walk now because we're getting a bit fidgety and restless. I'm waiting for the boys by the loos. Look, sinks are washing up. We're in a caravan park in case I didn't make that clear. Where we are, look. <laughs> oh, and there's a bush. Okay, now, <laughs> that is cool. I can't quite work out what it is because it's only actually got two wheels. <laughs> look at that sky. Ooh. 
One time we came here and we were playing, there was an almighty thunderstorm kicked off, like a river coming out of the sky and thunder and lightning and all these little boys were rushing out uh, and getting soaked and dancing out in the rain and we were all going, no, you're going to get struck by lightning. But they wouldn't have it, they just carried on regardless. We've done an about to turn and now IB is behind the camera so I can do front facing shots. Here we have the chemical waste disposal place. Yeah, one of my very first videos I ever made was in here. I did a little variation. Yeah. I did a little walk around it with my iPhone 4 and it's one of the most viewed videos on this channel. I don't know why, but it is. It's changed a lot since I did that because they've really done a lot of um building on the clubhouse there. It's uh, it was only really sort of incomplete at that time. And it was November then as well. It's May now, which is one of the nicest times in Britain because of all the greenery coming into bloom. We're being drawn to the water. There's a little river here. What for? Swimming. Swimming. It says, do so at your own risk. Wild swimming. There's a play area over there. Go and have a look at a minute. Play area over there. I never realised there was a little path you could take along that side of the river. Maybe I'll have a look in a bit. There we are. You have been warned. <laughs> ah, now this has changed since I did my uh, <clears throat> viral video of 2,000 views, whatever it is. Definitely, there used to be a little perimeter fence around it, but that's gone now. I don't remember this one for the very little children being here. I think this was here though. I remember the sand pit distinctly. We're coming to an open gate here, which is leading out onto a bigger field. I don't think I've ever wandered this far before, but we really do have quite a lot of waiting time today. I think I'd quite like to go to sleep with the sound of the river nearby. It's really soothing. Got a few more tents uh, just set up at the end here. Sort of isolated from the rest of everybody else for some reason. We can't seem to get any further this way, so we're just uh, coming back now. That's what it looked like. There's some cracking bird song going on. It's like a symphony. The thing is, if we get 2,000 people in a room, even if they're climbing out of politeness, it sounds like it's going down. <laughs> <laughs> There's this load of flies. I don't know if the camera's picking them up. But there they are, and I can tell you, they've been following us all the way along this path. It's like something out of an old Looney Tunes cartoon. <laughs> we want to go and see what's down here. We think it's just leading to a road, but I'm just going to have a quick look, because I'm very curious. We think there might be midges. Um, do you know, I so nearly bought midge spray when I was in Home Bargains the other day. But I thought, no, it's just another thing to carry around in the gig bag. I've got too much to carry around, so I didn't get it, and I'm regretting it. Right, what's around here then? Yeah? Goes under a bridge. Oh, they've gone. They've abandoned me. No attention span, these young fellows. Oh, spiky wire thingy. Well, it's not the best place to go for a walk, but well, I saw something different. Right, I'm going back. I am now really behind, but I can see where they are. They're heading off towards the prize winning toilets. Knocking up a quick set list. Dan's doing something with his strings, not quite sure. What are you doing with your strings, Dan? Stretching them. Stretching them. Don't Stop ask. I'm going out tune later. Oh, okay. We're just gradually getting the gear in from the car here and we're just putting it outside here because the other band is still playing at the moment. But as soon as they stop, we'll be ready to just get it in quick. We're just quickly setting up now and we're going to be starting in about 20 minutes and we've still got a sound check. So I'm going to pick this camera up again after we've finished because I want to concentrate on the gig. See you soon. It is the end of a very long gig. Well, it felt very long anyway. Two hours without a break. So we worked up a bit of thirst. We didn't manage to get to the bar to get any water or anything beforehand, but we're having a little sneaky beer now. I'm going to head off shortly. It's about 2.20am now and I was just remarking how very, very light the sky is. I think it must be light pollution. It's 
It's the Prince of Wales Bridge. I thought it was the Severn Bridge. What's going on? Have they renamed it? Yes. Oh, when? Once more, it's a ceremony. I love the move, I'll cut one off. I just, ugh. I sucked a sweet and, ah, oh, only one. It just won't stop bleeding. Ugh. Oh. It's not very nice for a vegetarian to have the taste of blood in their mouth. Just crossed the border into Wales now, and my mouth still won't stop bleeding. Just coming into Newport now, I think. It's about oh, 2.40, I think. We've probably got about another 20 minutes to go before we get back. Over there, that's the Celtic Manor Hotel, that is. And when I'm coming back from a late gig, I know that when I see that on the brow of the hill, it's not too much further to go. It is ten past three in the morning. So yeah, here we are in IB's kitchen. The roof of the mouth eventually stopped bleeding in the car. Goodness, it went on for about 20 minutes though. It tasted horrible. Anyway, we are very tired now. We're going to bed. Do hit that subscribe button if you want to follow more of our adventures. Comment down any thoughts below. Hit the like button if you liked it because it helps the channel to grow. And I'll see you in the next one. Good night.